start with Arthur Starr. We're in the midst of a highly charged semi-final. Tensions are running higher than Catherine Jenkins' top notes. Singing for your votes next, it's Bernie Nolan. <laughs> Oh my God, I loved it. I'm so proud of you. She was absolutely fantastic. She amazes me every single week. Chaka, chaka, chaka. <laughs> Well, this week I'm singing Je veux vivre dans ce rêve, which is Juliet's waltz from Romeo and Juliet. Is it the point where Juliet's just arrived at the mask ball at the Capulet's palace? Oh, I know this! Oh, you do? Oh, la da da da! Oh, I know this! And then it carried on and went, I didn't know it did that though. <laughs> <laughs> it's as if they thought to themselves, right. Think she can sing opera, does she? Take this! And that's you done, completely, <laughs> finished. Bernie needs a little bit of help finding the passion in this aria. And I know that she's got a bit of a soft spot for Rolando. Mm. So maybe he can help her out. Oh, no. I think I am a little bit in love with Rolando. Even the first time I met him, I was totally smitten. And I'm not asking think you have, you know... He's just so full of life and passion. I'm hot, sweating, oh. I mean, any time he sings, I just swoon. Oh. So beautiful. I just hope I can show Orlando's passion in my performance and that it's enough to get me to the final. Right, no, I just got so excited, I don't know what happened. She's excited, are the panel, Alan. 
Yes, slap my thigh and call me Samantha. <laughs> this is pop star to opera star, this Rolando. <laughs> what did your lover make of it? What did you make of her? <laughs> well, you know, this was, this was a hard one. This was the hardest that you had to sing. Lots of high notes. Uh, you know that you did some composition there in the cadenza, and I don't know how you arrived to the right note in order to sing the final it, but you managed to it, so you can do composition now. I mean, uh, the good news, it was really well performed. The bad news, I don't have my phone, otherwise I would vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, you're the picky one. I can't uh, imagine you had anything much to pick about in that. No, I mean, but don't you love a mask ball? You never quite know who you're snogging, do you? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. But you were, I, you've never, ever disappointed. Every week, your performance has grown and grown and grown. Whatever they've thrown at you, you've just delivered and done so much more. And that was a marvellous crescendo. Fabulous. Catherine, how proud. I'm so really proud of you again. You know, I, I can tell that you're not completely happy with that. But that, for you, that's Bernie's version of 8 out of 10. And still, for me, that was the performance of the night. Yeah. So I think you did incredibly well. Free applause. Thank you so much. I almost saw my line. But if you're not in the finals, and no disrespect to any other performer, but if you're not in the finals, it is a crime. Okay. You heard it? Come to the panel. Come to the panel. Come on Well, the panel has spoken. If you fell in love with Bernice Juliet, then lines are open for you to vote for her and all of our pop stars. Ladies and gentlemen, Bernie Nolan!